Dynamax is coming to Pokemon Go. And we have a lot of details that have been released to the Japanese news media. And we're going to dive into everything we know about max battles in Pokemon Go. So welcome to the Trainer Club. Here we go. Are you guys excited about max battles? Because I certainly am. But there are some nuances in here that we definitely need to cover that I'm kind of like, I wish they did it just a little bit differently. But we'll see how it comes out and rolls out. And then maybe at some point they will make some integrations. Because remember, they can always change it, but it's hard to start somewhere and then reverse it if you did the wrong move. So let's not get into anything that isn't real as of right now and then we'll get to that in the future also just want to let you guys know i did start my trainer club outdoors channel i just posted a video yesterday on the explorations i did in hawaii so we did some amazing hikes and we did an amazing travel around the island you guys can see some beautiful water some great things out there you can even hear how much wind there was on the cliffside because there was a ton but don't worry the entire audio is not like that i just wanted to give you guys a sample to see how that was and not only that guys i'm giving away three modded pokemon go plus pluses so please make sure to follow that channel comment on the first video and the last video let me know what you like about it and what you're looking forward to seeing on the channel and i can't wait to be outdoors with you guys together we got a lot of fun plans on that channel so with that said let's get into dynamax max battles are going to begin similar to as raid battles are however in raid battles you'd use premium battle pass or a regular battle pass and in the dynamax battles you're going to be using max particles max particles are going to take 250 of them to enter into the bulbasaur charmander or squirtle dynamax battle higher tier pokemon will require Require more max particles that are going to be required to enter during these times. As far as how many trainers can be used, there will be four trainers available to go into a Dynamax battle. So each Pokemon trainer will bring in three Dynamax available Pokemon. You can only bring Pokemon that are available to be able to Dynamax. During the Go Big event, there will be a special research which will give you guys a Dynamax Pokemon to be able to start your Dynamax journey. Then you're gonna have to fight against these Pokemon and catch them to be able to use them. So I just wanted to make a note here that in order to enter these battles, there is no private lobby. You cannot remote them. They have to be done in person. And then finally, as you enter this battle is the sequence in which each trainer will enter so if you want to all go into a max battle together and there's many trainers around it seems like you're gonna have to time up entering that raid so that hopefully you all get in at the same time to be able to max battle together because i do believe that max battles should also count as an interaction which you're going to want to get lucky friends during these max battles your max gauge will be able to build up when battling once your gauge builds all the way up, you will be able to Dynamax your Pokemon. So in this instance that we're referencing here, it's a Dynamax Charmander and we have a Blastoise that is going to Dynamax. Once it does Dynamax, it's going to have three max moves available to it. The max moves will be Max Guard, Max Geyser, and max spirit. So the max guard is going to reduce the amount of damage you're gonna be taking from your opponent. Number two, the max geyser is the dynamaxed water move. So all water Pokemon once dynamaxed will be able to get the max geyser. And then finally we have max spirit, which is going to heal your Pokemon during these battles. And as far as improving these moves, you can use max particles, or you can also use candy to be able to help improve the max moves that you have on your Pokemon. And there are a limited number of max moves you're able to use during a Dynamax battle. So please make sure to use these strategically and hit these Dynamax Pokemon out efficiently so you can have the opportunity to catch them. So once the Dynamax Pokemon is defeated, trainers will be able to place a Pokemon at the power spot. And during this, it will help future trainers defeat this Dynamax battle and it will also earn you candy. So it seems like it's kind of like a, hey, here's my Dynamax Pokemon that I defeated it with. Here you guys can use this in the future to help out with your party. Not only that, the one question I have is, how many people can put Pokemon at this power spot? Is it a limited number? Is it similar to a Pokestop showcase where you can only have 200? Is it a gym where you can only have six? We will see that in the future. And trainers will be able to see the rewards that they get and they can increase it for pokey coins. So in this example, you're gonna be getting a golden raspberry. You're gonna be able to get a potion. You're gonna get a rare candy. And then you're also gonna be getting 100 XP as well as 10 premier balls. And if you do the 100 pokey coin increase, you're gonna be doubling everything. So you will get two as opposed to one of all these things. Is it worth it for me? Personally, in this instance, it is not. I'm also curious that will there be badges similar to as they do rockets and as you do get silver, gold, 
platinum. You will get more premier balls when battling as opposed to just having to buy 10 more if you aren't gonna be able to catch it. Also, note here that the Dynamax Pokemon are further than typical Pokemon on this catch screen. Where can we find the max battles? Well, they will be at power spots. And will the power spots be taking over gyms and Pokestops? The answer is no. They will be new point of interests being added into the game for these specific things. So I don't believe that they're gonna be permanently in the game, but they will pop up. When they pop up, you guys will probably be able to figure out where they spawn and then put them as a note for your community. So you might wanna create a new community tab in your Discord to show people the location with the coordinates of where all these are at. Once they pop up, you will be able to see them on the map. Not only that, guys, I believe they will be in campfire as well. I would be shocked if they wouldn't be, but keep that on the top of your mind to help you find these easier. And you're going to be able to collect 100 max particles per power spot visited each day. You can do it eight times for a grand total of 800 collected. Another note is that it's going to take, for the Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle max battles, it's going to take 250 particles, so you will be able to do, it looks like, three per day. But remember, as it said, higher tiers will require more max particles, so as the tiers do raise it might be a bigger investment to be able to go into one of these battles and there will be a new tab on the nearby that's going to show you the max battles it's going to show you the power spots nearby it will also show you how many max particles you have and then you're going to be able to earn max particles also by walking so that's everything we need to know right now but now let's jump into some faq because there's some great questions in here as well is it possible to be able to evolve a dynamax pokemon the answer is yes if you have a dynamax charmander you can evolve it all the way to a Dynamax Charizard. Is it possible to be able to encounter shiny Dynamax Pokemon? The answer is yes. Can you collect max particles by using a Pokemon Go Plus Plus or other auto-catching devices? The answer right now is no. Is it going to be possible to Dynamax a Pokemon that you have already caught and is in your bag right now? And the answer to that, surprisingly to me, is no. You cannot Dynamax random Pokemon. It seems that you have to only be able to Dynamax Dynamax caught Pokemon, which only the Dynamax can then be used for the Dynamax battle. So it's its own self-fulfilling ecosystem. It is not, this is the point that I was a little bit not the biggest fan of, cross-pollinated into raid battles and rocket battles, which is a little bit disappointing for me because I was really excited to Dynamax a Pokemon against a raid boss. How will the Dynamax Pokemon be treated as far as Pokedex? They will have their own Pokedex entry. And can you go into Dynamax battles with less than four people? The answer to that is absolutely. You can do it with one, two, three, or four people, but obviously it's gonna be a little bit more challenging if you have less people. And just as a reminder, you can only get 800 max particles per day, which would yield you three battles per day. And then on every fifth day, you would be able to get another battle squeezed in there. Is it possible to pay to be able to battle in this system? Yes, you can purchase max particles with Pokecoins. Who would have thought? Will Gigantamax be a feature in the game? Game eventually. Well, as of right now, there are no plans, but they have considered it. How do I get my first Dynamax Pokemon? We already answered that. That is going to be in the Go event, where you're going to be able to have a special research to be able to get it there. Will all of the Dynamax Pokemon be available from the start? Well, mm, kind of a silly question because they never do that ever. It's never been done. They're going to be released as Shadow Pokemon one at a time. And do Dynamax Pokemon have IVs? Well, the answer to that is yes. So now, not only do we have regular Pokemon, we are now going to be having Dynamax Pokemon that you seem to be able to only get those IVs from Dynamax Battles, which is a whole new animal for a lot of us here. Hopefully they will be giving us a little bit more storage space to be able to hoard some of these Dynamax Pokemon. Can these Dynamax Pokemon be used outside of Dynamax Battles? The answer is yes. They can learn regular, charged, and fast attacks as do any other Pokemon. And and number two, the only thing is that they cannot Dynamax when used. So these Dynamax Pokemon seem to have like a Dynamax stamp on them. They can Dynamax in the Dynamax battles. They can be used in other battles. However, they cannot Dynamax in those other battles. They can only Dynamax in the Max battles. And then finally, our last question is, will Dynamax Pokemon appeal in the wild? And the answer is no, you cannot catch Dynamax Pokemon in the wild. You have to go to the power spot and be able to do the max battle. So that's everything that we have in regards to max battles in Pokemon Go. We have the max particles, we have the power spots handled, we have a bunch of different mechanics that are kind of a little bit more understood now. So let me know what you guys think with this information. Are you excited about these Dynamax? Are you disappointed? What would make them better? What would make them worse? 
but let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for being here as always. Love and appreciate you to all of my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody takes your support, subscription, and participation to X level. I'm going to see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.